Susan with VMworld TV, and I'm standing here with Klaus Rosengard with IBM. Klaus, tell me a little bit about the PMDC and what it is. Well, PMDC stands for Portable Modular Data Center, and it's really a data center in a box. Why would somebody want a data center in a box? Well, this is the trend. That's a way of delivering cost-effective, uh, good utilization of the power data centers for the future. So is it a box full of servers or, or storage, networking, what's in the box? Well, every every box is a, is a project in itself. It could be a single 20-foot container up to several containers that you could easily move in with all the means you have today. So you could satisfy any data center need. So you take this box and somebody assembles it, you guys assemble it, and then you send it to a customer, and it's like a turnkey operation? Yeah, exactly. You can uh, deliver it in three months from a specification until it's, it actually stands out there operating. So if somebody's going to do this, is it going to replace the current service they have, or Could are they going to use it in conjunction with the service they have? Typically, it's, it's used today for, for temporary data center facilities when you want to move away, you want to move from one facility to another. Like a but, data center migration. Right. Always see customers that, that do it permanently, and we even have customers that put them into to, uh, uh, to caves in the mountain if they want to have a very secure site. I actually have some customers that have data centers in caves and mountains. That's yes, we do have. Yes, we yeah, do have. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so does this, is this what it looks like up here? It does, yes. You have a single container solution where you have anything in it, including a power distribution, uh, uh, highly available power, uh, cooling and everything. Or you could have a single, a multiple container here, and just one of these containers can have up to 4,000 compute nodes, physical compute nodes in it. 4,000 compute nodes like the one back there? Yes. That's So that's 4,000 of these right here? Yes. Can go into one of those data centers? Yes, they do. Wow, that's amazing. So Klaus, we're at, we're at VMworld, and all the talk is about cloud. How does this relate to that? Oh, it relates very well to this, because uh, what you can equip such a, a portable module data center with is actually ESXi servers uh, with any size, so you can order a box of them uh, and have your cloud uh, through such an implementation. So ESXi is embedded on all these servers? Yes, they get delivered with you if you like. So it, when you get this, it's basically a, like a cloud in a box? That's correct. And it's ready to go? Ready to go, yes. Do people go into these boxes, or how do they yeah, manage they, them? They, they manage the same the same way as they always have been managing their data centers. It's the same tools, and they, they come as little as, as they can into the data center. Sometimes it's even with the light down. So would it it would completely plug into their current infrastructure? Yes, it would. Wow, that's, that's got to be a huge advantage to some customers. And do you see this be, and you mentioned a trend earlier in the it beginning of the conversation. Trend, yes. Yes, in do. five to 10 years, do you see this really taking off, and then people doing this all over the place? Or yes, is it, it would. Well, today you build your data center of components. In the future, you will order data center as a black box. Like an online ordering a pizza service, you're ordering a data center yeah, box. perhaps not as, as. With less cheese. <laughs> and, and more detail, yes, that's right. correct. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it, Klaus. Good luck. Thank you.